If you are an overclocker, you will need to pay very close attention to this board. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why in just a second. We're talking about the MSI P45 Platinum Motherboard. Now, this board is for all you gamers out there, all you overclockers, PC enthusiasts. It's using the new Intel P45 chipset, so it does support PCI Express 2.0, it does support Crossfire X, it does support the 1600 megahertz front side bus. So it's got everything to build a top of the line system. Now this thing has some really impressive overclocking features. Uh, we'll get into those a little later. Now to start, let's take a look at the board. Start off with the two uh, PS2s you got here for your keyboard and mouse connectors in case you're still using those instead of the USB. You got a Firewire, you got four USB 2.0s, two more over here. You got gigabit ethernet built in and you also got eSATA which is really nice if you have external hard drives that have the eSATA interface. Uh, you also have the SP if optical output so your one cable solution for surround sound. Uh, coming over here, 7.1 channel high definition audio, very, very nice. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that you get on the rest of the board. Uh, starting at the top, I guess the most important place, the socket 775 socket right there. Now, again, like I said, 1333 native front side bus support, so you can do those E8400s, uh, those Q9450s, any type of processor, 45nm, it will work. You can do up to 1600 megahertz, it will support it. And uh, we'll talk about the overclocking later, but this thing will go much, much higher. Let's look at the four dims over here. This does support 1066 megahertz native uh, RAM, so you can use your DDR2 at 1066. It'll go past 1200 if you overclock. Uh, let's take a look at this chipset cooler. Look at that thing. It is. Uh, it's like a tree of, of copper cooling goodness. It's ridiculous. It's all linked. Your Southbridge and Northbridge chips that are linked together, and so are your uh, DR MOS is the system that they use for the MOSFET coolers. Brings all the heat up here to the top, so your exhaust fan uh, takes it out. Let's go over your slots too. This is pretty cool. You got two PCI Express 2.0 X16 slots right there, so you can do crossfire. If you're gonna do a single, it's gonna do 16 lanes here and none here. If you do crossfire, you're gonna do eight and eight lanes respectively. Now, that's not gonna affect your performance. If you are running PCI Express 2.0 video cards, the extra memory bandwidth is gonna make that a non-issue. The fact that you don't have two 16, you know, double 16 lanes. So it's not gonna be a problem at all. For your storage needs, uh, if you look over here, we got a bunch of SATA ports. You can't really see them, but there's six right there, and there's another two right there. So that's going to let you do uh, RAID support, uh, RAID 0, RAID 1, uh, 0 plus 1, RAID 5, all there, all ready to go. And in case you have some legacy stuff, you do have a IDE and a floppy. So not too many of us are going to be using those, but they are there in case you want to add some legacy drives. 24-pin power connector. Now, let's get started and talk about some of the MSI specific features of this board. Uh, so, first thing, real quick, I love this. Look at this, little connectors. All the premium motherboard manufacturers are starting to send these out with their motherboards. This makes, uh, you know, putting in your input panel stuff, it's so simple, it's all labeled, very easy, color coordinated. You get a very nice input output panel, nice and painted, clearly labeled, which is great for your nice cases. IDE cables, if you need them, I don't need them. SATA cables, now these are useful. These are certified for three gigabit per second uh, SATA connections, uh, and they're, they're long enough to get even the longest cases, so they're pretty good. Included is a Crossfire X connector. You will need this if you're gonna run Crossfire. Now, back panel, in case you didn't have enough USBs already, you have Firewire and you have two USB 2.0s built in right there. Nice headers inside the, inside the board as well. And they've also decided to include two Molex to SATA connectors. So these are your four pin connectors that go to Molex. Uh, so, told you guys that this motherboard is fantastic for overclocking, let me tell you why. Let's start with the front side bus on this thing. This is one of the first motherboards with a front side bus that has ever gone over 500 megahertz for me personally. Uh, so when you're quad pumping that into an Intel uh, pr processor, that's over two gigahertz on the front side bus. So that was very impressive. Uh, I've actually never done that even with much more expensive motherboards. The other thing I liked is the BIOS, very friendly, uh, made by American Megatrends. They make a lot of BIOSes for a lot of people, so it'll look very familiar, very simple to work with. Uh, the stepping for your V-Core and your V-DIM are very precise, very small, uh, so you can you know, very 
minutely you know change everything so you can get right to the bleeding edge um, now if you're not going to be overclocking from your BIOS it also comes in the box with dynamic overclocking technology which is their little software to overclock from your operating system if you're not an experienced overclocker this is a great way to get your feet wet uh, to get started before you go into the you know really complicated stuff this thing adjusts the voltages automatically it adjusts your timing it's great so it's really simple uh, now another thing I liked about this board for overclockers you know you can always push it a little bit too far that's how you know where the bleeding edge is when you went a little too far and now you got to back it up the clear CMOS on this thing is on the back I like that better than the ones that are on the board because you don't have to open the side of your case to get into it you just push the button on the back and you go back to your default settings uh, so you can boot the computer up a couple other things solid state capacitors uh, which is great they're uh, conductive polymer you know they're not the electrolytic ones all right so out of the box and under two hundred dollars this board is gonna support front side buses above and beyond 1600 megahertz it's 45 nm ready it's crossfire x ready and uh this is definitely a new board to keep your eyes out for now as usual if you have any questions feel free to email me and uh, i'll see you guys next time for more information on the msi p45 platinum intel motherboard go to compusa.com and type in m452-6040 into the search box or you can call us 24 hours a day seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA